So it is a rainy, dull Tuesday night, which is typically one of the slowest days of the week. I'm taking the night off. I just dropped my son off and we ran together. And boy, is he quick. He is quick. But we got our run in, we got our stretching in, and it's always good to spend time with my boy. Uh, I'm in his neck of the woods right now. So heading to the closest Walmart to here. And uh, I'm gonna go to the gym. <clears throat> I'm gonna shower up. And uh, then I would like to go into Walmart and pick up a few ingredients. All right, we're gonna cook something tonight in the back. We're gonna watch a movie. We're just gonna have a chill night. Car camping in the rain. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. So we're only going in here to uh, shower and stretch and uh, sit in the massage chair for 10 minutes. That's it, because I already did my workout with, with my son. Uh, three miles of running, some push-ups, some stretching. So we're good there. We're just going in here to clean up. That's it. My buddy from New Hampshire, Chuck, sent me these beautiful oranges. I've already had one. They're amazing. And look at that skin right there. Like this is what a real orange looks like. So we're going to be having orange for dessert tonight. He also gave me a card with uh, Baja's gift card. And I want to also give some shout outs to, to Amy. And I want to thank Amy for the Jersey Mike's gift card. And I want to give a shout out to D. Hansen um, for the cash money. D gave me 25 bucks. Very, very kind and generous of you folks. All right. You guys are really kind people. All right. So I just wanted to give some special thanks. Got to get this car organized. My son forgot the Easter egg for his little brother. I'll give it to him next time. How much power do we have? 90% plenty. We're just gonna need some fresh underwear, socks, and a t-shirt. Um, do I need my pants? I don't need my pants because I'm not gonna be wearing my pants. I'll just, I'll just wear my shorts. Cause I'll be getting into my pajamas. 
Tell you what, I'm just gonna bring my pajamas. Yes, I'm gonna go shopping in Walmart in my pajamas. I'm gonna be that guy. But you know what? I don't care. As long as I'm comfortable. Got my green juice in here. I got my greens blends this month. It's been a while since I picked up one of these. You just do one scoop in your water bottle and it gives you all these ingredients, man. Vitamin C and K, two servings of fruits and veggies, seven nutritious greens, and it has 30 servings. So if I do this every day, I'll have it for a month. It's good to get these into my body every day. All right, let's move it. Need my towel. Where's my towel? Here it is. Mm. It's just a chill night tonight, a chill night tonight, oh yeah. Rested. So the Walmart just so happens to be in this plaza. It's right over there. So not a whole lot of driving. We're just going to go and pick up a few ingredients. And I think I'm going to make a pasta dish tonight. I'm thinking penne pasta with broccoli, some turkey sausage. I would need some butter and some garlic. That's it. That's all I need. spots to be found up front we're gonna have to do a bit of walking it's all good I was just trying to get up close because it's raining oh what do we got here come on out don't be shy don't be shy 
There we go, some action. We're gonna have to maneuver around these shopping carts here. Kind of in my way. There we, here we go. We'll just hit that left left turn arc. Get a little shopping cart. I'll tell you what, we'll back it in. We'll back it in. We'll back it in. No problem. Like a glove. Like a glove. There we go. Need my wallet. Let's bounce. There's a heavy smell of marijuana in the parking lot. Somebody's having a good old time. So I got those ingredients for 11 bucks and I'll get three, maybe four meals out of that. All right. So I'll be able to stretch that $11. Again, not, not a long drive. We're just going right here. We're just going to set up camp right here. You gotta have that reach. <laughs> oh, man, they're all the way in the back. Temperature's not too bad tonight, 45 degrees. So I won't have to run the engine too long. I'm gonna leave it on for just a little bit uh, cause I like to be nice and warm in here, but I probably won't need it all night. I can cut the engine soon. already have our pajamas on we're good to go we just got to jump in the back here and put uh put our back our back window covers on
blanket here. Everything's good to go back here. We're gonna turn this space right here into the cooking area. All right, so I was gonna play some soundscapes for sound, but I'm just gonna mute it. It's still a nice visual, but the sound of the rain hitting the roof, that's like natural soundscapes. So we're just gonna keep that. All right, so we got the butter. Put that in there. I also got the broccoli. We'll give that a spray and a little bit of a cleanup. We got the penne pasta and this will last a while. And if I just do like one sausage per meal, you know what I mean? There's four meals. And this garlic is gonna last me a while. All right, we got our table right here. I can prepare everything on here and it keeps my cooker nice and sturdy as well so I can cook. We're gonna do two cups of penne. Oops, oops, bam. That's all we need for this dish. Gonna need the knife. Don't have a sink to wash my veg. So we gotta improvise. But I did notice they have a sprayer at the produce section, so that helps a little bit, you know? Sprays the vegetables every once in a while. Place our broccoli into the bowl. Now we're gonna add the sausages about halfway through because these are already cooked and I don't want to overcook these. And this will take about 25 minutes. We're gonna put the garlic in right now though. We're just gonna need one clove, that's it. One clove will do. We're gonna use this as our temporary trash can for this evening. Just love me some garlic. Love it. I eat this stuff straight up. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Bon appetit. Just kind of pour that right in there. And the butter is really gonna enhance the flavor. The butter with the garlic and the sausage will add some flavor to the dish, you know? All right, we're gonna do a cup and a half of water. One. Cup and a half right there, I'll do it. And we'll check on it a little later. If we need to add some later, we will. right here get our give our lid a little rinse All right, let's get the jackery ready we got 90 percent on the jackery so I'll be able to show you how much power this actually takes out All right so you can see where we're at right now we're at 90 percent and I'll tell you how much wattage this thing uses up Boom, so we gotta activate that side of it. 
okay? Everything's good to go. We'll get this cooking and then we'll clean up a little bit. Boom. Oh, running into some issues with the jackery. Let's try it again. I don't know what's going on. This never happens. Hmm. All right, guys, it looks like we're having an issue with the jackery. It is not responding. And, um,. Let me see if it's responding to other forms of charging. Let's see the charger. All right, so it's charging the iPad no problem, but it's not doing anything to the dash cooker. Nothing, no response. Looks like we might not be cooking in tonight, guys, which is very disappointing. But we're gonna keep this video going because I've already put effort into this video. This is just what happens sometimes, guys, you know? Okay, well, that is a bummer. I had everything set up to go and the Jackery is just not putting any power into the dash cooker. And that is the first time this has happened to me. Uh, since I got this thing two years ago. I've had this Jackery for two years and this is the first time it's failed me. So there's not much I can do guys. There's really not much I can do. Okay, we got to think of another plan. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to have to jump in the driver's seat and drive out and get something to eat, but I don't want to take all my covers down, man. I really don't want to do that. <gasps> What if I ordered DoorDash to my car? Can that be done? Well, here's what we can do. I can order DoorDash and have it delivered to Walmart. And I can just run over to the front door and I'll text the driver and I'll say, hey, look out for the guy in red pajamas. Now, I haven't ordered DoorDash in like a year. All right, so something I rarely do because DoorDash is quite pricey. But it's also convenience. You know, that's what we're paying for. We're paying for the convenience of it all. I know this as a driver, okay? So I'm gonna order some DoorDash. I'm gonna see what they have. And uh, yeah, we'll get something going because I need to eat, all right? I'm hungry. And we're gonna have to do away with this, which really sucks because I have nowhere to put this. So we're just gonna have to throw that in the trash, clean up in here, but we're gonna keep this video going. Okay, so here we are inside the DoorDash app for diners. Now it remembers what I ordered last May. So we're gonna get that same burrito, plus one right there. Get some hot sauce packets. That should do the trick. Then we'll get a soft taco, regular. Bam. Then we're gonna get a crunchy taco, double bam. And I think that'll do it. Okay, so it prompts me to hit a $3 tip. I'm gonna hit other. I'm gonna hook the driver up with six bucks. Now this Taco Bell is like two miles from here, so it's not a whole lot of driving. $21, that's pretty steep. But whatever, we're just gonna treat ourselves. Let the driver know that it's Walmart, even though the address will take them there. Leave them a little note to let them know what I'll be wearing. Place the order. And we're good to go. It's processing. Now we just sit back and wait. All right, so I ordered some Taco Bell. All right, had to go for it. All right, so um, it was $20. Man, it's expensive, but whatever. You know, every once in a while is good for me. And uh, it just shows me also how much people are spending on DoorDash, right? Um, I tipped the driver $6. So with the tip and the fees, it was like $10 and then $10 for the food. So 
crazy. You know what I mean? And uh, like if you order DoorDash like a couple times a week, you're going to go broke pretty soon unless you have a lot of money. But anyways, I'm going to clean up now. I can see when the driver's on the way and when he gets close, I'm just going to jump out, walk over to Walmart, grab the food, and then we'll come back in here. All right. All right. So I got the place cleaned up. You know, it sucks that I had to throw that away, but I can't keep it in the car. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be investing in another power uh, power source just yet because it still works. Like it still charges my electronics, which is what I use it for the most. Right. So um, well, that's much better. So I'll still I'll still hold on to it, obviously. But, you know, as far as like powering up other things, I wonder if it'll still power my fan. Let me check. All right, let's see if it powers my fan, because if it doesn't power my fan, I will have to order another power station because I am not doing summer without a fan. It's just not happening. Okay, let's plug her in. All right, the fan works like a charm. Uh, low speed and high speed no problems i don't know why it just couldn't it couldn't fire up the uh the dash cooker you can see output is 15 watts it's just 26 watts it's minuscule compared to the dash cooker so maybe for like cookers maybe a step up maybe like the the explorer 500 would be better you know i mean but it did work for a while for me you know it did work for a while Got a good year and a half out of, uh, out of it, I would say, in terms of cooking, you know? Man, that order got here quicker than I thought. She's here. All right, we got the goods. We got the goods. Okay. Well, these plans changed. <laughs> But you know what's funny though? We just ordered DoorDash to our car. I ran over there. She was a sweetheart. And uh, she was here really quick, really quick. I, th I think I got that in like 15 minutes uh, because the Taco Bell is right down the street. So, and I'm trying to open this with one hand. So <gasps> I got two tacos. Any day now, Brent, any day now. And a beefy five layer burrito. I have an overwhelming amount of sauce packets, hot sauce. All right, we're gonna turn up these soundscapes. Just a little, there we go. A Little bit of sauce right there. This is how we do, man, come on. If you're gonna eat Taco Bell, do it right. You know what I mean? Cheers to you. Mmm. I don't care what you say about Taco Bell, it hits. Get yourself a burrito. Get yourself some tacos. Well, obviously, because it's Taco Bell. You know, and just uh, have a good night. All right, so I have my burrito and I have a regular hard taco or crunchy taco. And I have a regular soft taco. And that'll do the trick. I have my water. I'm good to go. I just started this show. It's called The Gentleman. It's on Netflix. It's um, Guy Ritchie, the same guy who directed Snatch way back in the day. So far, so good. So this guy's got to come up with 8 million pounds or euros or whatever the hell it is to save his brother. And his brother seems like a bit of a dipshit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come up with the 8 million or we'll cut your balls off. Time for a little dessert. So this is the orange that my buddy Chuck sent me from New Hampshire. Look at this. I had one already and it's delicious. Let me show you what kind of orange we got in here. Appreciate you, Chuck. You know me, love my oranges. I gave, I gave two to my son. He likes oranges too. Look at this. That skin right there, you know? I guess that's what a real orange is supposed to look like, right? And that would be challenging to believe me, it's not just a good fun. Tony Wright is not gonna make a week or two. 
Let's go. Mm. Appreciate you, Chuck. All right, so there you go. Things don't always go as planned, do they? I wanted to do some cooking tonight, but the jackery burnt out on me and I uh, wasn't expecting that to happen, but we got it on film. That's the first time that's happened. Got some good use out of it. Got some good, uh, good use out of it, but probably the Explorer 500 would be a better bet for me. Uh, but, you know, we were able to change our plans, you know, and we did something else. We ordered some DoorDash to the car, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Had some Taco Bell and uh, watched some TV, did some reading. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna do some more reading and then I'm gonna call it a night. I appreciate you guys for coming along and uh, just chilling with me on this night off, on this rainy night off, okay? So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take it easy.